Hello guys, you're probably wondering why do we have three different phones there, two relatively new and one very very old. The simple is very reason, they all have something in common. Or the iPhone 7 Plus actually have something in common with the Nokia 925, which was released, what, seven years ago? No, that's too much. Four years ago, sorry, of course, 2013 May. So four years ago and with Huawei P9 Plus, which was released same year as the iPhone, but a few months earlier. When you watched the iPhone 7 Plus presentation and all videos about it and the ads and so on and so on, everyone was talking about it as they are selling something completely new and unseen. That's not new and not unusual for Apple to try to sell you something that's already there, selling it as something new. So what I'm talking about, first of all, the dual camera, okay, but actually we have it here and this device is a few months older and actually that was the first thing I noticed when we were reviewing this device a few months ago. So, but yeah, that that's just few months difference so probably it's not a big deal for some of you but hey night pictures low light pictures Apple are saying it's practically magical yeah and we were doing this with Nokia 925 seven years ago this phone by the way is in, still in perfectly working condition very durable fantastic camera beautiful by carrot size just fantastic camera the only thing that's letting this phone down is the Windows operating system, I'm sorry to say this. But for the price of this one, you can actually buy this too. This one is out of the picture in terms of speed, it's outdated, 4 years old. But would I buy iPhone 7 Plus or this fantastic P9 Plus? I don't even have doubt. I'll go for the P9. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you why, sorry. So first of all, the feeling they both weighed pretty much the same. They were released with a few months difference, as I said, this is slightly older. The price, this one is quite significantly cheaper than this one. The Huawei is durable. You, you know what's going to happen if you drop the iPhone. The screen will smash and you have to pay about 100 quid to replace it. The fingerprint sensor is on its back, very, very easy to use. What do you prefer? Doing this, like get the phone out of your pocket and just unlock it, or get it out, it's quite a big phone and then... I have quite big fingers, but if you have small fingers, you probably need both hands. Um, what else? I, I prefer the Android operating system, but that's... Yeah, actually it's relevant. About the size, again, pretty much the same size, a little bit more space used on the Android phone on the P9 Plus. The camera is moved a little bit to the center, which is like if you hold it like this or like this, it will be easier to have a stern grip and still make pictures. The fingerprint sensor, you can use it as a scroll as well, scrolling throughout the screens or pictures. I'm not sure about this one, I need to play with it, so I don't want to say that's not the case here. Um, well, advantages of the iPhone, it has the dual speakers, so better sound. As I said, camera is pretty much the same. This one is waterproof, this one's not. So, another advantage here. Uh, what else? They both have fantastic display with... Uh, Pretty much the same pixel density, so not a big difference there. The Android phone has Gorilla Glass, Corning Gorilla Glass 3. This one is with strengthened glass, whatever that means. But well, I guess it's better than iPhone 5 or actually the oldest, the other iPhones, but still I'm not quite convinced. And the other major, major difference. The audio port you don't have it on the new iPhone oh yeah you have this um, wireless earplugs but you need to pay they're not included in the set you need to buy them separately 
and here we have the standard 3.5 millimeter jack which is very very usable and everyone's used to it we're using it for what years and years now i'm trying to remember if this one has the ir sensor ir port no it's not a port of course you're not pulling anything in it um because that's one thing i missed from my old samsung the infrared i was using it to control my tv but well, basically everything that has infrared like the audio system the tv even the skybox but it's not there anymore and i'm sure why they decided to remove it but that's that's the situation and nothing we can do about it but yeah so again which one will i buy the p9 plus without any doubt and that's based on i was using iphone 6s for a few months and i switched back to android i love the operating system i love how durable these devices are most of them and the price of course is something to consider because we don't have unlimited amount of money to spend on phones or on iphones Probably some of you will disagree with this, some of you will agree with me, I don't know. But I'll be interested to see your comments in the comment section and I really hope you're going to like this video and you'll find the information in it useful. If you don't like it, just put it in the comment section and we'll consider your feedback. Please be nice to each other and to us. And if you want to support us, you know what to do. I'm afraid we cannot show you the latest device which is of course the Samsung Galaxy S, but not 7, S8, because we don't have it. And yeah, someday when we are a bigger channel with millions of subscribers and millions of views, probably we'll be invited to one of these conferences and we'll be able to show it to you as it's released, but not now. So thanks for watching and see you next one. Bye bye.